Hey guys, so I got some great information about the new Makeup Forever HD formulation. I have learned a lot from one of Makeup Forever's pro artists, Eddie Duyos, that I wanted to share with you guys. The original formulation has been a staple in so many artists' kit, and they want to know why they changed it and if it's better than the old formulation. I have been wearing this foundation for a couple weeks now, so I will give you my review at the end of this video. So why did they formulate it and what makes it better? Firstly, they want to be more eco-friendly as a company. So going forward, their packaging is now recyclable and mostly made out of recycled material. If not recycled, then bio-sourced. It is now vegan and more clean. They have claimed to get rid of all of the nasty ingredients. According to this app, Yuka, where you can like scan a product and see how clean it is, it does meet its standards. So you have to have a score of 75 to be considered a clean product and they had a score of 86. Makeup Forever has this thing going on called the Pro Collective. And what it is is a group of 50 global artists all around the world with different backgrounds and skin tones who created this inclusive shade range. The formulation had to be approved by all of them and it took them two and a half years to create. They wanted it to be a cleaner formula but still have that higher performance with a range for all skin tones. They did go from 50 shades with the Ultra HD down to 40 shades with this new formula, but it's not skewed into one family. It's divided into 10 shades across four families. For example, there's 10 shades in the light range, 10 shades in the medium range, 10 shades in the dark range, and 10 shades in the deep range. Next I'm gonna talk about is the tones. The old formula only had red and yellow undertones. And with this new formulation, they added the neutral range, which I am so excited about because I am a neutral. Though every shade of neutral that they have isn't the same. Some of them have more yellow in them and some of them have more red. And then the new yellows are a lot more vibrant. The biggest difference in this new formulation is that it has a higher pigment load. So a pro tip is go lighter in application than you think. The other big difference is that it's waterproof, so it does have a higher alcohol content. It is true to skin and does not oxidize, but it does dry down. Anything waterproof has a dry down factor. So they suggest also going a little lighter in shade than you think, because when it dries down, it could look a little bit darker. It also has an ingredient in it that they call micro skin system. That means that the formula bends and moves with your skin. So it's supposed to have no cracking, no caking, and look undetectable. The old formulation did have blurring properties, but they increased the blurring properties in this new formulation. It's super lightweight and looks like skin. What you can and cannot mix it with. This is not a water-based product, so don't mix it with anything water-based. I'm not talking about your skin prep underneath, you can use water-based products. I'm talking about actually mixing it into the foundation. You can mix it with face oils, airbrush thinner, emollients, or anything silicone-based. If used with an airbrush, use a higher concentration thinner to foundation. They suggest three to four pumps of thinner to one pump of foundation, so it can spray easily through the gun. They do have a shade conversion if you use their old formulation and you wanna know what color you would be in the new one, but they say to use that as a starting point. Doesn't mean that's gonna be your exact color. You can also use it as a concealer, it is light enough. If you don't have that much darkness under the eyes, it will be enough coverage. Obviously, if you need more coverage, then you would go in with a concealer too. On the box, they do suggest it for combination to oily skin, but normal and dry skin can wear this foundation. Skin prep is gonna be your best friend. You just wanna make sure that you are using moisturizing properties underneath this foundation. And then again, you can mix it with an oil or any emollient moisturizer to make it more hydrating for you. Okay, now for my review. I've been using this foundation for a couple weeks now and the more I wore it, the more I liked it. The first day, if you saw my video, it was like a first impressions and I got pretty oily by the end of the day and that was with just lightly dusting a powder over my foundation. But I tried it a few different ways to see what worked best for me. I do have combination skin. I got a sponge and I really pressed the powder into my T-zone and also I put a little bit of HD powder underneath my foundation and it definitely lasted a lot longer throughout the day and I didn't get as oily. So I do like that this formula is more pigmented. It is super light. It does feel like I'm not wearing anything and I do like that it's a 
semi-matte foundation and it still has like a pretty glow. Don't take one person's word for it. Please try it out for yourself. Get a sample of it if you have to and just try it out for a couple days. Sometimes the first time you try it, it doesn't work out that well, but you might need to change up like your skin prep routine or just the way you're applying it or putting on top of it. And I think that you will come to enjoy this foundation. I hope this video helped answer any questions that you had. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.